Welcome everyone to Throwback Gaming's Let's Play of By Moonlight Part 2. Um, I played back through the game to this point, picking the same options that I did up to this point. Where we ended up last time because I picked the wrong choice and the, we lost the game. So we're back here to hopefully go down the right path. But that does show you how quickly you can end the game. I saved it so... Um, you know, I can reload from this point from now on. But next time that a choice pops up, I'm going to save the game so that we don't have to do all that again. But, um, so, um, the save file said that we're 14% complete, just for reference. But let's set some light on the issue now. <laughs> you rustle through your new bag and pull out a flashlight. You flip it on and point it in the direction of the skeleton. This dude was trying to take our hand. Mm -hmm. Guess you'd call this a light bulb moment. <laughs> you sweat nervously. Back home, your jokes typically fall flat. You were about to apologize for making a pun, but you hear their bones rattle with laughter. I don't trust this dude. This dude took our hand and killed us. Like, it's rough. The skeleton literally cracks a smile. That would be fantastic. You pan the flashlight around your immediate surroundings until I half of a left oh half of a bony left arm is brought into view yeah that's right take your bony arm instead of mine you peasants the skeleton's lot eyes or lack thereof light up they quickly grab the appendix and fix it to their left elbow socket flexing their hand a couple of times to make sure it's in good condition the skeleton grins thanks for illuminating the answer to my problem yeah after you took our hand last time you peasants you stifle a laugh. I guess I'm a, I'm a bit bright at times. The skeleton wanted to follow up with another pun, but seems to be at a loss and switches topics. It coughs. I seem to have forgotten my, to introduce myself. My name is Mar um, Marrow. Like Bone Marrow. <laughs> Not Sans. <laughs> Funny. Yeah, Sans wouldn't have took her hand and killed us, you know? Sans is, well, he wouldn't take her hand. <laughs> That's funny. I like the Undertale reference. I get that feeling that I've just been vaguely insulted, but... <laughs> and you are. Throwback Gaming, paranormal investigator at your service. You do a clumsy bow and hear rattling laughter again. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. It's rare to find someone with a good humor nowadays. Oh, all the bo all the body jokes. Mara pauses for a moment before clapping their hands together with a sudden realization. Wait, here a normal investigator, you say? You must be the one helping out with Hans. You give a tired laugh. That's me. Just your regular good old-fashioned headhunter. <laughs> I like it. You give a slight sigh. Honestly, it would have been a lot better to know what you were getting into before signing a contract with a witch you barely know. But then the breaks. I mean, sure, you finally got to encounter the paranormal, but this really wasn't the way you thought it would be happening. Or what you thought they were going to be like. This dude took our hand. Like, no, he's dangerous. He looked back up and see that Mero was in deep in thought. You know, I may not talk to Hans that often because he's a unique personality, but I still care about him. After all, we're the only two people in this house who struggle with losing their heads occasionally. Part of you wants to question what Mero's definition of people is, but you stop yourself since that probably would be insensitive. Mero's teeth start to chatter nervously. I might not be able to help much with the searching since I don't want to run into sea, but intact, but well, if you have any questions, I'll be happy to help. That means a lot. Thank you. Where to start? Hans's personality, skeleton life, or glasses? Let's ask about Hans's personality. 
What's weird about Honda's personality? What is it weird about? Miro clears their throat. I mean, well, he's a uh, Dullahan. So the only special ability he would have, he has, would be doing stuff without his head, but. But. I'm not sure if there's any other way to explain this, to be quite frank. He talks about sealed power in his arm. Having a dark lord's eye, fighting a secret society. It all started when he started watching those, um, what do you call them? Foreign kid cartoons? Oh, anime? <laughs> you stare into the distance with a deep sense of em emptiness. Those are classic signs of... A Shinobu? Okay, I totally butchered that, but... <laughs> Eighth grader syndrome. Oh my goodness. Anime. <laughs> hey, anime is not for eight, eight graders only. <laughs> you say you aren't into it, but who are you kidding? Your hair is pink. Oh, it's pink? I didn't know that. I'm colorblind. It doesn't look pink to me, but anyways. You definitely want to switch topics, so let's move on, let's move on, let's move on. <laughs> uh, hey, anime got some good plots. Not gonna lie. <laughs> skeleton light. Where were were you always a skeleton? Were you always a human? Yes. No. Maybe so. <laughs> the skeleton gives a soft, raspy chuckle before looking down. Honestly, I don't remember anything before I was at this mansion. Huh. <laughs> This is like some, um, some brainwashing stuff going on. If I was happy, if I had a family, what I look like, am I a decomposed human? Or was I just created this way? Or maybe my life was just that insignificant. Dang, this dude has some soul searching to do. He wanted to offer some um, consolation, but the words seemed caught in your throat. Miro might physically just be a mass of bones, but you felt that they still have a heart. I don't know. This dude took her hand and killed us, so I don't know about that. <laughs> He's not on the top of my favorite person list at the moment, or monster list. Aw, oh, sorry. That got way off traffic. Do you have any other questions? Yeah, we got one more before we have to answer the, the important question of where to go next. Glasses. Yeah, why do you have glasses if you can't, if you don't have eyes? That isn't necessarily relevant, but why do you wear glasses if you're a skeleton? I mean, no offense, but you don't have eyes. I can see why you might think that, but... Mero points towards the top of their skull excitedly. See that crack? Yes. It's light-shaped. Lightning-shaped, right? I mean, yeah, but what does that have to do with... Does it let eye light into your eyes? Well, you see, Iris lent me some biography books. And in one of them, there's a famous wizard who has glasses and a lightning scar. Um, are you talking about Harry Potter? Wow, that's so cool. It's Harry Potter. You don't have the heart to tell him that it's fictional. You wonder if this Iris person messes with Mero frequently. Oh, before I forget, where did you last see Hans? Let's see. I think he was heading to the library to look up sewing capes. But he's very impulsive, so I wouldn't be surprised if he changed his mind somewhere along the way. You groan. Tracking down such an unpredictable person is slowly becoming more and more of a pain. Mero notices that you are distraught and hurriedly tries to lighten the mood. I might not know where Hans is, but I certainly know where the library is. Let's see. Mero fiddles with their fingers. Popping one part off and putting it back on again while lost in thought. Yes, yes. 
I believe that if you continue straight down this hallway and knock on the right door a couple of times, it should get you there in one piece. They give you a weak smile. Mystic libraries grow more flickable with time, so be sure to follow the directions properly, okay? You nod and pick up your bags, set off in what you assume to be the right direction. Just as instructed, you continue down the hallway. It's quite a long stretch, so you observe the details around you to pass the time. Cobblestone. Marble. The floor materials seem to shift with every step you take, but maybe it's just your imagination. Soon enough, you find a sequence of doors. Follow Mero's advice or follow your gut. I don't know. I don't trust the guy. He tried to kill us. Alright, we're gonna save again. Hello? Uh, come on. Alright, so there we go. Let's make sure that it showed up. Okay, we got... I don't know. Anyways, let's go back. Do we follow his advice or do we follow our gut? Hmm. Well, let's see what happens if we follow his advice. Figure that if anyone knows what to do to, to get the library, it'd be someone who lives here. You would think, but I don't know if we trust the guy. After knocking on the right door, the middle door opens. Walk through the middle door. <laughs> There's multiple choices. Are you serious? Okay, we knocked on the right door, and the middle door opened. Let's try the middle door, I guess. You feel a tour it moves towards the middle door since it's already, it's already unlocked. It's filled with darkness. Maybe it's an illusion. You step through only to realize there's no ground to step on. Ugh, really? Falling down the rabbit hole. Really? This game is ridiculous. <laughs> Alright. Let's try this again. Come on. <laughs> Alright, we will we go through the right door. Open the right door. Did it literally... What in the world? Wait a second. Okay. You feel torn and hope th that the right door is some sort of pun for being the right door. Your logic makes no sense. Regardless, you stick to your decision and nervously tug on the door in front of you. It swings open, thankfully revealing the library. You see the high of relief and walk in. Hans? Hello? Anyone there? You're met by silence and laugh quietly to yourself. Well, you may be amazed at how many volumes of books there are on the first floor alone. You don't want to spend too much time in here if there's no leads. It would be pretty useful for investigating later, maybe. Hey, it's a kitty cat. A cat. Oh, I'm scared. I'm just kidding. It's adorable. What a cutie. Oh, 
Oh, aren't you just a sweetheart? Don't tell me the cat kills us. Meow. You knew that you kneel down and pet it gently. It purrs and rubs against your hand. You notice a collar. Is it Iris? What's your name? Lifting up the cat's head, you check the name tag. It's smeared. Huh. That's weird. Meow. The cat's gonna be a person or something. The cat quickly slips from your grasp and dashes out one of the library doors where you can react. Wait. It's a trap. Don't do it. Stumbling back to your feet, you chase after it, exiting through the same door. You aren't sure how far the cat managed to go, but you're hoping that it might lead you to someone or something important. You tripped on something, but with your super cool ninja skills, you don't fall down. You glance back, wondering what it was, only to see a dead body. What? A dead body. First a missing head, and now you have to solve a murder. Ugh. Maybe it's a zombie. Who knows? You don't judge. <laughs> exactly, we don't judge here. You can't fully see who it is because they're face down on the floor. You look pretty pale, are you okay? I feel faint. Help get her up or off for a tomato in these trying times. <laughs> it's off for a tomato. You throw a tomato at her, which she catches purely on reflex. She shakily brings it to her mouth and sucks out the juice, leaving behind the carcass of... She's a vampire. Vegetable? Fruit? What are those things called again? Tomatoes are fruit, which is weird. Yeah, I knew she was going to try to kill us if we went to help her out. <laughs> She wipes the remains off her... Basically, anytime they offer her help, we have to pull something out of the bag. <laughs> Literally. She wipes the remains off her face. Yep, she's a vampire. Hey, thanks for the help. Yeah, you were gonna kill us if we helped you out. I thought I was a goner there. Haha, <laughs> I forgot to eat again. Wait, have I seen you somewhere before? I don't think... She was the cat, I bet. Oh my gosh, you're from that reality TV show about hoarders. It takes you a second to recover. I'm actually the paranormal investigator you guys hired. Her eyes widen. I swear I didn't do it. Do what? The murder. What? Officer, please don't arrest me. I have a family. My son just got into kindergarten. It was all for the kids, I swear. You what? She breaks into laughter and takes a little while to calm back down. She wipes a tear from her eye. Oh man, that was a good one. You should have seen your face. I was just kidding. I know why you're here, officer, so just ask me whatever. What my favorite color is, what my favorite kind of food is. Well, what's your name? I'm Iris, but if you want, you can also, I can also tell you about, that's okay. I think I can take over from here. Where to start? Ta um, Hans, tomatoes, or capes? All right, we're going to stop here because there's probably going to be another, oh, well, we just got past one, but there's probably, based on what I've seen, there's going to be a, a lot frequent multiple choices that are going to try to kill us. So I'm going to stop here and we'll question her next time. But if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe to the channel so does come out and I'll see you next time when we interview Iris and hopefully not die again. <laughs> but um, I'll see you next time. Peace out, everybody.